This final piece is called The Immigrant's Daughter. My family flocked to this unknown land to land some more opportunities. Saying goodbye to the sunny skies and hot sands in order to grind their feet into the pavement that paved the way for the successors. The ones who could pour their hard-earned dollars into the concrete to strengthen their ground. This is what I had found. In order to strengthen your ground, you actually have to pour. Rather than trying to satisfy your need for more, but through my parents' eyes, they were deceived. They quickly lost hope in the land of promises they once believed. She never understood the word grind until she listened closely to the sounds of her joints after what was her typical nine to five. And he never understood the word hustle until he learned he couldn't feed his kids unless he used every last contraction of his muscle. And this was not the promise they dreamed of. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. <laughs> I had sent some planes to go and hit that city, and as the news ricocheted and resonated right into the pit of my heart, after news filtering in and people being physically torn apart, it turned my soul. And at that time, I was considered one of them. Hassled by security, when all I wanted to do was fly. Nobody ever stopped to ask the white man why he was going to a conference or why he was going to see his family. I was caught smack dab in the middle of a battlefield, just like my birth order, now faced with a tall order of who am I? Once a little bit of both, but now that line which is the sky, and I'm forced to choose between the one they would love to hate, or the one they would just hate. But regardless of my religious state, I am still the immigrant's daughter, the one who calls it camping in her living room when there is no heat or water. That daughter who strives towards success even though her ceiling is made of glass. That daughter whose language skills are put towards translation and manipulating the explanation when the odds were not in my favor. But the life as that daughter turned out to be a future blessing. Able to step away leaving my mind digesting the many facets of society. So then I was able to dream. Envisioning that promised land my parents had once seen, living on that side where the grass is always green, you know, Mother Nature taught me an important lesson. The grass is only green when you water it. Just like a daughter who has strong values because you taught her it. And that seed that has been planted can never be taken away, just like when the sun rises, in comes the opportunity to make the most out of my day. And I am thankful that the sun has risen because now I can see light in a new way as the immigrant's daughter.